The next step is making the hell yeah part. For this I use VDJ because as you can hear there is a break at the end. So open up VDJ and drag the acapella to the first deck and then go to effects uh, break and set the length to light uh, 0.70 seconds. And search for that hell yeah part. The bottles pop and we get that drip in that drop. Now, now get me two more bottles, cause you know it don't stop. Hell yeah! That's it. Now go back a little bit, press record. Okay, set the config first. Press record. And uh, while you are playing, Press activate on deck one. When we get that drip in that drop, now, now get me two more bottles, cause you know it don't stop. Hell yeah! Drink! Great. Start the recording and import it to Vegas. Cut off the useless parts. And may you have to scratch it a bit. Okay, the next thing we wanna do is to make it a bit louder. So split the track, go right click properties and normalize it. And it will gain the volume with a few decibels. So now make a short fade and it will sound like this. However, there is another effect you can make here. Once you did these things, cut it into short pieces. Oops, make sure you are selected the track. And once you did this, Vagas will automatically create a fade for the beginning and the end. And uh, if you want, you can customize it, of course. For example, delete the fades and make pauses between these pieces you know, whatever you want and make sure you leave the ends as it was and now play around with the parts again so maybe we need some Daft Punk again Work it harder, make it better, do it faster, 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 make, make sense. Nice, 
and now add some parts of that again. You remember this is the wah sound. But it is all about how creative you are. And for the end, may put it here and uh, give it back to its beginning. Now I'm feeling so fly like a G like a G6. Give me that mo mo wet. Like a G6. Give me that mo Fly, so fly, feeling so fly like a G6. So fly, fly like, fly like a G6. Fly like a G6. Great. effects uh, give me that mobile. the first thing is a kind of robotic sound and for that uh, duplicate the track and uh, offset it a bit and decrease the volumes and you can hear that it has maybe not here, but in other cases it has a robotic sound. And for the second part we're gonna make a kind of chorus effect. So go to properties and change the pitch to like negative one. And on the other track change it to positive one. And I've already offset it, so the final thing is to play it. Maybe a bit less. Or more, who knows. Yeah, kinda good. And that's all. If you want to add something more, you can add the facts here, for example. Uh, you know, it's a track EQ. You can boost the low tunes and uh, cut off the high ones. And it will affect the whole track in Movie Studio. In other versions, you can add it here because you have this button here. But. Uh, it's good enough for us. Hell yeah! Drink. And uh, if you want to add more effects, you can go here to this button and choose from these effects. And now you can see that we have created many effects in this short part. I hope you enjoyed doing it and I'm pretty sure that with practicing you can make nice things after this tutorial. If you liked it give me the thumbs up and like my Facebook, check my mashups or mixes and feel free to post your creations in Vegas. See ya!